What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, Blazikev, Blazikev Reacts here with a new video. Hope you are all having a good day, afternoon, night, whatever it may be at the time that you're watching. So today guys, we have a new video, new debut, Young Posse. I feel like a lot of you will have no idea who they are, did not know that this was happening. Right now on social media, Young Posse, from what I saw on Instagram at least, I think that's where they have the most subscribers, followers, whatever. They only have like 5,000. When I followed them on there, on my K-pop account, they had around like 3,000, which is not that different. I feel like companies are really trying to debut and release things in different ways these days. I just think that New Jeans has left such a big impression to just have a like unknown slash really unrevealed debut, kind of just like roll out the teasers, roll out all that stuff, and then just have the debut. It works for some groups, it doesn't work for others. I've been seeing it happening a lot. Young Posse, the only way we'll know how it'll work out is from checking out the MV. Also, if you guys do not know, they are from DSP. DSP used to be like one of the big three of K-pop. Before Young Posse, it was April. Before April, it was Kara and Rainbow. So huge. From the teasers that they had, I thought that it was really cute. Macaroni and cheese. It reminded me of like Light Sum's Honey and Spice because they're promoting at the same time. Just like the whole like food, cartoony, like 90s, early 2000s aesthetic I always love. So let's get into macaroni and cheese, guys. Let's check it out. And let's see where this group is going to be going. All right, guys. Macaroni and cheese. Three, two, one. Commercials. <laughs> macaroni cheese. It's a dish of cooked macaroni pasta and the cheese sauce. Most commonly cheddar sauce. Is that part of the intro? No way. I got macaroni cheese. I got macaroni cheese. I got macaroni cheese. On the on the cream, pop it, pop it like a cheese. On the on the cream, pop it, pop it like a cheese. Flow so. I think her name is Yeon Jung. That was the most English Kansami that I've ever heard. Kansami da. Shut it like it crazy, shut it, shut it like it cheesy. Shut it like it crazy, shut it goes it's like it's like that. Shut it like it crazy, shut it, shut it like it cheesy. Shut it like it crazy, shut it goes it's like it's like that. I mean, is this interesting? Definitely. It's something that you don't see in K pop. But I'm not gonna be listening to, to listening to this song again. I'm so sorry. 
I did also check out the album. If you guys didn't know, they released a mini, so they have three other songs. Um, Let me see the name, because I have it right in front of me, actually. Posse Up, OTB, and Cooing. I only liked Cooing, if I remember correctly, and I didn't even like it that much. Um, Kind of a mid-debut. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um... I think my biggest problem is when they make them fit concepts that have nothing to do with their lives at all. Like, I'm not saying that idols are here singing about songs that they all relate to and everything is personable. Obviously not. If most of the case, it's not. But I want it to at least make sense when you, like, look at them. You know what I mean? Like, this song obviously sounds super trap-heavy rap, uh, hip-hop influenced, and... I don't know, I just find it, I always find it hard to make like a, what's the word? I always find it hard to make like a connection or to find like relatability or to like, it does, it just doesn't make sense when I see super young girls rapping to things that they probably don't even know what they're talking about, if you guys know what I mean. I have said this in some other reactions as well, not, not too often because I don't think that girl groups, um, do this too much. Like, I don't think they go down the hip hop way too much. Um, if they do, I feel like it usually works. I don't know, I just thought that this was a complete, like, cornball of a debut. <laughs> I'm not even holding back, I just... I think that, like, teaser, concept, music video, um, creativity, like, everything was absolutely perfect, you know? I actually was looking so forward to this, but after hearing this song, like, straight off the bat, I just feel like it was... Like, they're trying to do something different that might also might not necessarily sound the best for them i don't know like i said it did really feel like an nct song 100 percent. honestly i feel like this would have fit more better for a boy group if you guys have watched my other videos you'll know that i'm not like against girls doing like girl crush hip-hop whatever i can't tell anyone what they can or cannot do i'm nobody to them but but i do think these companies need to have a little bit of like self-awareness like make it make sense hope that you guys enjoyed this um let me know your thoughts down below i'm sure a lot of you will be like oh kevin new video macaroni cheese like what is this like what's this group because you know it's so like they're still so unknown even on youtube i see that they only have a little under 5,000 subscribers but we'll see hoping that their next comeback will impress me more um if it was the album itself that stood out and i was like Whoa, then i would be like all right but even the album itself it wasn't too much to me i think that they need to tone it down a little and give these girls like a little mix of something more poppier or at least like i don't know throw a switch up in there because the song just wasn't good that's it i will see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching and yeah bye bye